Good morning. Let's have a conversation about Cyclorama cams. I've got about a 53 minute drive, so this would be a perfect time for me to describe what each of their cams do, what their purposes are, what they're best in, what kind of exhaust they like, if they need valve springs or not. So let's start at the 470 cam. The 470 is probably one of the most underrated cams on the market. Um, that cam performs as a bolt-in, performs in big bore kits. You can put that in a 128 with a little bit of head work and have 150, 150 results. Um, the, uh, the 470 really should have a good performance exhaust system. And uh, if you don't know what that is, um, talk to your builder. Um, it really likes big intakes, um, so larger throttle bodies or ported 55 millimeter throttle bodies. You can use stock length push rods with it if you wish, but uh, I digress. That's a whole other conversation. Um, let's go to the next one, the 480 MT. Now, it, you need to know that the regular 480 is getting phased out. Um, the new grind on the 480 Monster Torque Cam, um, it's gonna move your peak torque about 300 RPMs to the left. So it's gonna come on three to 500 RPMs sooner. Um, that's gonna help you guys out with your, your big heavy touring bikes, your trikes, um, that's really what that cam is designed for and um, let's face it most of the Harleys out there that people are modifying um, they're baggers they're heavy and that quite honestly might be the most perfect bolt-in cam ever designed and I don't say that lightly because I see every cam under the Sun and uh, so I really believe that cam is the next big thing for for optimum bolt-in cams, whether you got a 107, whether you got a 114, 117. Um, as long as you don't have over 11.0 compression, um, you can bolt that cam in and be right at about 240 cold cranking PSI, and uh, the cam's just gonna perform. Um, you're gonna have killer torque. I can't wait to put one in a 131 just to show you what the torque number can be <laughs> because it's going to be really really impressive um, 480 that can use stock length push rods if you wish um, yeah the one that's coming to market is the 472 cam now this cam um, not a whole lot of people know about it yet but this cam was made specifically for shitty exhaust systems um, so probably an exhaust you already have on your bike. Um, it's going to be a mix between the 480 and the 470. Um, it, uh, it's got some special dynamics, but it's not on the market yet, so I'm not even going to talk about it much. The next in line is the 482 cam. Now the 482 cam, again, you can use stock length push rods if you wish. I do not recommend it because it does have some very radical lobes. This cam is made for built engines. Um, it is not a bolt-in cam for stock engines. Um, could you? Yeah, but it's gonna run like shit. Um, you need compression with this cam, and I would say a minimum of 11 and a half to one compression to run that cam, because it has a very late close. Um, I like to squeeze that one around 12 to one compression. Um, that is a, a very high performance touring cam. That compression sounds high, but at that compression, static compression, that cam bleeds your dynamic compression down to about 10.8. So it's still pump gas friendly, but like I said, you really gotta put the squeeze to it to make that cam work. Um, that's a cam that with stock heads in a hot 124 with a good exhaust system and a good intake, um, you're gonna be 140, 140 in a 124 um, with stock heads with that cam pretty easily. Um, so that's that cam. That's a real hot rod cam. Next up is the Cyclorama 483 cam. Now the 483 cam, um, 
if you want the quite possibly one of the most radical idols on the market that's the cam for you and the beauty of it is is it's a great bolt-in cam whether you've got a 107 114 117 124 128 it's my favorite in 131s and just the stock screaming eagle 131s that cam just flat out rips um, it just pulls your arms off it's really really fast um, the acceleration rate is second to none um, tunes very easily um, it just I can't say a good, enough good things about that 43 cam 43 cams a mid-range cam um, can use stock push rods if you wish I would not squeeze the 483 any more than about 11.2 to 1. Um, so it's stock compression, so 10.5 all the way up to about 11.2. That's where that one's going to be comfortable. Um, it does like port and intake manifolds. Um, it does like bigger throttle bodies, if you wish, and can tune for it. Just a, a good all-around cam. If you want that choppy idle, like a lot of people, they they try to get the SNS 475 chop. Um, I can tell you that the 483 surpasses the 475. Um, so old trusty. If someone's looking for something different, not a Me Too cam, go with the 483. <laughs> All right, next up is the Cyclorama 485. It's a bolt-in cam, um, uses stock valve springs, uses stock leg push rods if you wish. Um, this is a very versatile cam. It's kind of like that 470, um, where you can squeeze that from, you can put it in to a stock bike with stock compression all the way down to 10.5. It's gonna be a little soft on the bottom end, but if it's a light bike like a soft tail, um, you can get away with it. Touring bikes, if you're gonna run the 485 with stock compression, I recommend using a plus four um, timing advance key if you're gonna use that with stock compression. Once you do your big bore kit or whatever, then you can take that timing key out and you can put your stock timing sprocket back in. Um, so I would say this cam's good for anywhere between 10 and a half to one compression and 11 and a half to one compression with pump gas. Um, it's a mid-high cam, um, so it's gonna peak torque depending on your exhaust system between 3,500 and four grand. Um, it pulls your arms red line. It's, it's a very versatile cam. Um, there's another cam out there that was a limited run, but it's still out there. The Cyclorama 489 cam. 489 cam you could still use your stock valve springs however you cannot use it as a bolt-in over stock pistons the overlap is too high with the 489 and it will hit um, so you need pocketed pistons you need to check for clearances with that cam but you can still use stock valve springs I wouldn't recommend lifting stock valve springs any more than that um, you're right at the limit Next up is the Cyclorama 512 cam. This is a favorite in the 131s. It was developed specifically for the 131. Um, you're gonna get a very balanced power result. Um, this, in a 131 with a good exhaust system, you're gonna have anywhere between 145 horse up to 157 horse, depending on the exhaust system used in a 131. It's an amazing cam, works good, sounds good, tunes easy. Um, you can use this cam from 10.8 to 1 compression. All You could really put the squeeze to it if you're, if you know what you're doing with tuning, you can put the squeeze to it and get it up near 12 to 1 compression with these big engines, but um, you're going to need some real careful tuning. So I would stick with the 512 around 11 to 1 compression. Um, the Cyclorama 515 cam. 
There's a lot of confusion between the 512 and 515, but the 515 cam is literally a high lift 485 cam. Um, so if you've got ported heads and you wanna make use of your ported heads, then you go with that 515 cam. Um, 515 cam we did in 131s, 128s, as a bolt-in, put it in the Screaming Eagle 135s. That cam is very, very versatile um, if you have the valve springs to, to use it. That's going to be a mid-high cam. Um, so yeah, anytime we get into high lift valve springs, I'm going to assume that you've got a built engine and that you're not putting ported heads on stock compression engines. So we're just not even going to go there with that cam. Um, next up is the Cycle Rama 536 cam. This is popular over in Australia. 536 is like a high lift 42. Um, it really needs some compression to work. Um, it's extremely aggressive. Um, but if you have 12 1 compression and a 128 with plus two valves, you're going to be tickling 160 horsepower. Um, it's a definitely a mid high cam. It demands a high performance exhaust system, um, demands very good lifters. So I recommend limited travel lifters. Obviously, 536 lift, you're gonna need high lift valve springs. Um, next up after that is the Cyclorama 540 cam. Um, 540 cam, that's a hot rod cam. Again, you're gonna need, I would say, 11 and a half to one compression to 12 to one compression for the 540 cam. That's a mid-high cam, demands a high performance exhaust system. Wants a big throttle body, um, likes ported heads. Um, that's a hot rod cam. So if you're an aggressive rider, 540 might fit your riding style. Um, next up, 545 cam. This was designed for the monster big bore kits. So you're talking like the 135s, the 143s, the 148s, the 150 plus bikes. That 545 cam is made for those big displacement bikes that really need some legs. Um, it's not a real common cam, so I'm not gonna get out there, but if you got one of those big builds, you're probably gonna want one of those 545s. Um, puts out balanced power results. Um, and 143s, 170, 170s, kind of the norm that we see with that cam. If you got a 148, now you're gonna be up around 185, 185, if you've got the right supporting exhaust system. That's with minimal head work. Now, if you got an unlimited budget and you're gonna put giant heads on it and custom exhaust systems, then that's the cam you want when you're shooting for over 200 horsepower. Um, next up is the 550 CR 550 cam. 11 and a half to 12 and a half to one compression. Um, that cam is going to be replacing the 540 cam. Wes has moved some timing events around to optimize that cam. We did do that cam in a 131 not too long ago, and we were tickling mid 160s for both, both horsepower and torque. Um, very impressive cam, comes on strong in the mid range, pulls your arms all the way to red line. So if you've got you know 124, 128, 131, 130 kit, 135, whatever, um, and you're wanting strong mid-range cam and you've got the compression to support it then that 550 is going to be a really good cam for you um, so i know that was a lot of information um, hope it was helpful i'll watch the comments here uh, throughout the day but more questions don't be afraid to give psychorama a call and ask them about their cams take care everyone